Hi everyone. I'm doing a series of story time, uh, different stories that have happened to me, experiences that have happened to me, especially in the very beginning of my, I guess you could call it awakening, the very beginning of when I started to chat with my angels and the different experiences that I've had. Um, one of the ones that really stood out to me that was just like amazing slash exceptional is this story today. Uh, I had a friend of mine that lived at my aunt's house and she would take in boarders from all over the world. So they would come to this location in order to learn how to read and write English. And she was here from uh, a small country called Uzbekistan near Russia and we got to know each other over time and I said to her well would you like me to give you um, an angel card reading because I had just started in on angel cards in the very beginning and I was just in the beginning stages of uh, channeling the angels guidance but I was always open to practicing with um, people that were open to receiving messages and so I gave her a reading that night and it was amazing. Uh, a lot of what came through was exactly how she felt, exactly what was happening in her life. And we had stayed up till about midnight and then I went home. So I remember riding my bike home because I lived close by. And I remember getting into the elevator of the apartment building where I was living at the time. and. I remember looking down at the floor in the apart in the uh, elevator and there was a penny in the corner in each corner of the elevator like right in the corner and I thought that seems kind of weird like who would place a penny in the corner every corner of the elevator like this I knew that the angels were good at having signs show up. So I was seeing number sequences, I was seeing feathers, I was seeing, you know, wherever I was being drawn to look, whatever seemed highlighted to me, I would pay attention to. Sometimes it was rainbows, um, but today it was coins. So I get in the elevator and there's just, just it was very odd to me. And so I went to bed and then I got up in the morning earlier and I remember this soul was trying to talk to me and just kind of, um, well, pestering me <laughs> and I didn't understand who it was. And then the soul explained that it was related to my friend. So I was like, oh, okay. You see, because I had already given her an angel card reading, this soul knew that this was an opportunity to get through to relay a message for her and it was really important that I relayed this message for her. Even though I was kind of uncomfortable, I didn't know if she would be willing or open to hearing the message. And um, But this soul was adamant that I speak with her and relay this message. So I get down the elevator, the pennies that were there eight hours ago are no longer there in the corner of the elevator. Seemed kind of interesting that they had just disappeared. I don't know where they went. I don't know if the angels worked through other people to place the pennies there and then pick them up eight hours later. But I definitely felt like there was a bit of a chuckle going on, like humor that I was noticing these pennies and now the pennies were gone. So I go over to my aunt's house and I say, hey, um, there's another message that would like to come through. Are you open to receiving it? And my heart's pounding because I don't know if she's going to be receptive uh, to having a message from a soul. Sure, okay, from her angels, but um, this soul wants to relay a message. So uh, she says, yeah, that'd be great. So we go into um, the living room and we shut the door. And uh, I'm like, oh, how am I gonna, how am I gonna say this to her, you know? 
And I say to her, I have a female spirit here and she's telling me that she's your great grandmom. She goes, yeah, my great grandmom. Yeah, yeah. I said, are you open to hearing from her? And she absolutely I am. And I'm like, okay, okay, that's okay, good. I said, you call her great grandmom? She goes, yeah, she was my great grandmom. I said, is that what you call grandmothers in the country where you're from? And she said, yes, that's what we would call, um, you know, instead of grandmother or Grammy or Nana, they say grand uh, grandmom, which we don't do that here. So I knew I was onto something because I had never heard that um, label a grandmother before, except that this was her great grandmom. Okay. So her great grandmother. And, uh, so I'm channeling this soul and she's relaying a very intimate detailed message to my friend. And my friend asks, what, what was, what is her name? What, and then she tells me her name. And I say, no, what was your name when you were in a body as her great grandmom? So then she relays this name, the name she had when she was alive in a body, not her soul's name that like she had first relayed, but the name she used when she was my friend's great grandmom. And so th the name comes through as Maria and my friend's face drops the jaw drops. She's shocked. She's surprised. I'm shocked. I'm surprised. I'm like, okay, well, we're on the right track here. And she just couldn't believe it. She couldn't believe that I was picking up on such detailed information. I couldn't even believe it. I was like, I can't believe it either. <laughs> so it was just amazing. It was so healing. And her great grandmom had seen what was happening with the marriage that was, uh, falling apart and separation was happening at the time and the importance of you know self-love and having a partner that treats you with love and kindness and it was just a magical magical time relaying those messages to her and I could tell like a lot had shifted within her she was much lighter and much more carefree much more um, happier, like a deep healing had taken place. So I relayed all the messages that came through and she asked a lot of questions and I relayed the answers from her great grandmom and it was just awesome. That was the time where I said, okay, now I feel like the gift that I have that I'm developing because I'm practicing this is something that I can use to really help people. And that was one of the best experiences that I'd ever had. All the detail that came through, including her name and her title of what people called her as in great grandmom, it was just amazing. Cause I've never been to Uzbekistan, okay? I've never been to Russia. I don't know what they called their grandparents there, but I found out that day. <laughs> Uh, well, if you guys enjoyed this story, I'm going to be coming out with several other stories of uh, experiences that have happened to me starting back when I was first starting to channel. If you're interested in checking out my YouTube channel, it is Kristen Davies. If you'd like to check out my website, it is kristendaviesmedium.com and all the links are in the description box below. Bye.